getting ready to pour this concrete here. Uh, I just wanted to come back and have a last minute, last minute item that we had um, that I had to make sure that was here. Uh, one, it's got a grade beam here, grade beam here, those were missing. So I had to make sure those were put into place. Now we got one over there with a pull of water that had come up, but it's got a grade beam there. Um, there's another item. We had the wrong ground rod. Um, let's connect it out of the footing. We had the wrong ground rod up, which is um, which we had to get this ground rod right here to go through the slab, and we had to bend this one right here down. Also, another thing that you want to do is I want to go ahead and make sure the garage doors because we got anchor bolts. Show you guys what the anchor bolts look like. So you got these um, anchor bolts here that's going to be floated inside the slab to secure the house. So these are gonna, it's going to be dropped inside of the slab. It's going to stick up, and this is what you're going to put attach the, the bottom plate to. Um, so we got to make sure those are located. They should be every, I think code says six feet apart. Um, and within one feet of a corner or a door, uh, our end of a wall. And so I make sure that I measure out where the garage door is gonna be. Say for instance, right here, this is the middle of the garage door. Uh, the way they do it on the plans is a little different. They just give you the dimensions of the garage door. So I gotta measure out five feet uh, from that, which is right here. So that means we don't, we don't need an anchor bolt in that little area, but we do need one within 12 inches of this area. That's how it works. Um, yeah, that's it right there. That's the end of the door. And this is that door right there. Yeah, no, 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 no. Right there, right there, green, yeah. And then you got one right here. That's that's nothing right there, that's okay. great. Man. That's a uh, thing. You got one there. Okay, so we got all those marked. So right here, you have your garage door, which should be 10 feet. I hope it's 10 feet. I'll pull the tape measure out just to make sure. Um, oh boy, we right on, we got on the spot, man. I'm, you what, man. I'm getting good at this. I'll get good at this one day. Let me make sure here. So we're gonna come here. Boom, we right at 10 feet, guys. Right there where that nail is. Take the other one. Here go the other one right here. That's what we had to dock up on this one a little bit. So we, all right, so we read it. We read at ten feet here too. Uh, let me check my little door opening here, because sometimes I will tell you why. There's another reason we do this too. So we got that. God, dog it. Come on, buddy. Come on, grab it. Come on, thirty-two inches. That's good. And now the, the door is a 3 old door, which means it's um, 30 inches, but I measured 32 inches uh, for the rough opening because you got to give yourself an inch on either side to be able to wiggle that door around to make sure it fits. Now there's another reason when you, when you actually get the door in. There's another reason that this door right here, now the garage doors, it's a little different. We got to make sure that we slope the concrete Right here, in just this area where the garage is, slope it so that the water won't try to go back up into the garage. So we're gonna slope it this way, slope it down, make it tilt down a little bit, and that's why we—that's why it's important to know where those openings are for that garage door. Okay, all right, guys, got my grade beam in. Uh, now we're waiting on the pump trucks and everybody to come in and do their thing, and you know, I'm gonna be looking at my camera i got some more stuff i need to take care of but i think they got it ready um i think they got it ready i'm gonna check everything out and and hopefully um everything goes smooth today you guys have a good one um and within one feet of a corner or a door uh, or end of a wall and so i make sure that i measure out where the garage door is going to be Say for instance, right here, this is the middle of the garage door. Uh, the way they do it on the plans is a little different. 
they just give you the dimensions of the garage door. So I got to measure out five feet uh, from that, which is right here. So that means we don't we don't need an anchor bolt in that little area, but we do need one within 12 inches of this area. So that's how it works. Um, yeah, that's it right there. That's the end of the door. And this is that door right there. Yeah, no, 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 right there, right there, green, yeah. And then you got one right here. That's that's nothing right there, that's okay. great, man. That's a uh, thing. You got one there. Okay, so we got all those marked. So right here, you have your garage door, which should be 10 feet. I hope it's 10 feet. We'll take me just to make sure. Um, Oh boy, we right on, we're down on the spot, man. I'm getting good, man. I'm getting good at this. I'll get good at this one day. Let me make sure here. So we're gonna come here. Boom, we right at 10 feet, guys. Right there where that nail is. Take the other one. Uh, here go the other one right here. That's what we had to dock up on this one a little bit. So we, all right, so we right at, we right at 10 feet here. Uh, let me check my little door opening here because sometimes I, I'll tell you why there's another reason we do this too so we got that God, dog it. come on buddy come on grab it come on 32 inches that's good and now the, the door is a 3-0 door which means it's um 30 inches but I measured 32 inches uh, for the rough opening because you got to give yourself...